Oh, look, it's connecting, it's doing some stuff, flashing lights. All right, guys, all right, guys, it's a late one in the evening. Got to get a video out, got to get a video out. So with all the work that I've done on the bike, I've been messing around and fiddling around and trying to get in things around my head. How am I going to read the ECU on this bike? Is it possible? Euro 5, blah, blah, blah. So uh, let's see what options I've got. So back on the trusted bench in the garage, there is a standard O. BD reader with just a plug on the back, you can see. I've got this specific Euro 5 kit from Lone Leck, so these lot, which has a Euro 5 pin on it, and this K1 interface. I don't think that's the right one. I think I bought the wrong one online, but we'll, I don't think that will work. And I had a little rummage around, and I've got this little Bluetooth iCar that I used to use when I was on my BMW days to plug in and connect to a phone. So fingers crossed, one of these might actually work. So let's get on the bike. The good thing about this bike is, because you can just take the seat off, the, the plug is here. That's it. You don't have to take loads of shit off, man. It's there, handy. Uh, this is obviously Euro 5. Find your equivalent Euro 4 one, chaps. So I'm going to disconnect this. And regardless of the interface, so I use, I still need to plug this in. So let's get that in, in there. That's clipped in. That's the easy bit then. So uh, let's see what can and can't read. Right, this was an old school one that I had lying around. I used to use this on my old Yamahas and stuff. So uh, I don't know, it might work. Let's just see. Plugged it in, no ignition, and it's lit up anyway. So there's power to it. So let's just turn the ignition on. When you do fiddling around with this, guys, make sure you're on a, a battery tender. Um, See if I can remember what goes on. Enter. I think it just goes through a different service bust. Codes found zero, ignition spark. Oh, it's got an exclamation mark though. Please wait. Oh, diagnostic codes. Read codes. Stored codes. No codes are stored in the module. Okay, fair enough. Pending codes. Oh, evaporative system, plug control, valve circuit open. Interesting. So uh, yeah, so obviously because I had all the evap removed, it has actually come back with a read. So that's handy. Exit. Um, scroll preview for menu. And live data, see if that works. Reading, oh, it's going through pit, 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 pit. Don't know what that means. Complete data set, let's go for it. Oh, look at all this bad boy. Map, Spark Advance, IoT, Math. TP, air ups, shift. Ooh, loads of shit here. Okay, let's get out of this. Right, so we know this one connects, so let's go and try the other one. So we got the iCar, iCar one Pro. Now this is using the Bluetooth, so I'll just do the same again. Turn the ignition on. You don't get no lights or anything on this, but what you've got to do is you've got to download an app and I will show you how that works now. So, yep, yeah, that's there. I've got my phone, so I've got this Auto Doctor app. I'm going to go down to that. Oh, look, it's connecting. It's doing some stuff. Flashing lights. Connection status. It's doing something. Boom. Flashy, look at that. It's going nuts. The lights are going nuts. Uh, let's see if we can find that same code again. Uh, trouble codes. Pending one. So, let's go to that. Yeah, EVAP system purge control circuit opened. Let's see if we can clear it. Right, I've got to go back. Uh, reset trouble codes and engine management lights. Let's try that. Prepare the vehicle for reset conditions while making sure the ignition is on and the engine is off. Yes, we can confirm. Clear diagnostic info. Okay, fuck it, let's do it. Boosh, that was quick. Fuck you know. Bang, job done, mate. Job done. Oh, you can hear a bike. Lovely jubbly. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. Status, diagnostics, readiness, monsters. Oops, monitors. Jesus, it's got a lot. It's got a lot of shit, this app. I did have to pay a fair bit for it. I think it was about 20 quid or something. Flash man. So in theory, I could leave this connected to the bike all the time. It probably might use the juice though, wouldn't it? That's only a pain in the arse because it has a little LED light. So, But at least I've got options and I've cleared that fault. So what I might just do is just go and check it again to see if it exists. So I'm just going to check that everything's all right. So... Bloody insert dates come back. See if the uh, alert was still there. No, it is not there. So it's definitely gone, but it did have to piss around with my date though. So uh, I might just start it and check it. So let's give it a start. See what the, see what happens. See if it starts first.
thought we were on to a winner. Thank you very much, iCarly Pro. Looks like you're the, the top darts. Right, happy days, guys. Happy days.